Hi everyone, uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, today is going to be something just a little bit different if you can't tell by the title of my video. Um, I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys about some of the stuff that is going on right now. I think everybody everywhere is concerned with all the new changes and stuff that is going on in our world right now. Um, where we live right now, we have more, it hasn't like, um, I guess I didn't say what it was. So with the coronavirus or the, was it COVID-19, uh, uh, it hasn't hit our area quite yet. Um, but because of the craze and all the stuff that's going on, um, we do have stores in our area that are clearing out. Um, so everybody knows like there's a shortage on toilet paper, there's a shortage on hand sanitizer and, um, you know, baby wipes, diapers, mm -hmm. food is starting to not be a lot in some of our stores. Um, so this is kind of like the first time that we've all gone through something like this. Um, besides some of the other illnesses and scares that we've gone through maybe in the past, but for right now, this is like kind of freaking everybody out and a lot of people are not prepared for such a change. Um, with us homeschooling, we're not affected by the shutdown with schools, but our schools did uh, get shut down in our area. Um, so I, um, my workplace is still not shut down. I only work one night a week and then every other Saturday. So I did work today. So I was, I'm not affected by that. My husband's self-employed. So we'll see how far that goes with, um, with his job and stuff. Um, so we're kind of like lucky, I guess, on that way as in, I've been, um, homeschooling now for 14 years so we have our own way of um living and um we've learned with with us having so many kids we've learned to sacrifice as in living cheaply um we don't have credit card debt we don't have anything we've mainly have our house payment and living expenses and stuff like that. Um, do we have a savings? No, we don't have a savings. So in that aspect, you know, we would have issues if something were to happen. So we're more or less living off of what we have right now. But there are other ways to go around things so that when a situation like this happens, um, you can be prepared for the change um and with us i've learned to do different things differently through the years and i wanted to share with you guys some of the things that we do in a large family that will help us um get through maybe a time like this now is it going to help us with the illness uh n not necessarily no but um with everybody being like scared and nervous and there being a shortage on food and sanitizers and stuff like that um i've learned to make things on my own um live cheaply as in what can we use that we have already in our house and things that we can do now to help us now if there is a shortage in things so I'm just going to go through some of them with you guys and then I will leave in the description down below um, all like the, um, if you want to say like recipes and ways to make all this stuff to um, help if, if this were to happen. Now I know my daughter was looking for alcohol and she went on Amazon and that's already sold out. So then one of the things that you're going to want to get and buy. 
So some of the things that um, we've made in the past was um, baby wipes. So I make my own baby wipes and I do have a recipe for that on my uh, website, 10 Kids in a Garage, but I'm gonna leave everything down below in the description on how to make it. And then if you guys wanna check out my website, I, all I have on there is baby wipes, but all the other stuff that I'm going to tell you guys are in the description. I'll just like leave the um, what you need to get or whatever. And by now, by the time this video goes out, it might even be too late because I know everywhere is getting kind of like sold out of everything already. Um, so you, um, I'm just, I have a list right here of some of the things that um, you can kind of do on your own in your own home so with us having a family of 10 in the house right now um we went through some stuff last year already with kind of prepping a little bit so my husband last year wanted to start prepping and I kind of was like mm, I don't know you know um that's a lot of work and time and you need things to get started and I thought that was kind of like just kind of foolish like uh, we won't we won't need to do that or whatever so um, and now we're in that spot of needing stuff so um, he did prepare um, we did prepare just some stuff or whatever already and I do want to do a video on that someday on how to prep but for right now it's just um, basic stuff right now if you can't find that you would be able to make yourself and um, uh, if you have it or you need to purchase stuff just in case because I think it's going to be in like a, maybe like a month or so with this, um, with what's going on. And we don't have like complete shutdown right now. But if it gets to that point, then, you know, we don't have that stuff to, um, to do it. So uh, we already have that mindset a while ago, um, a couple years ago already, having the mindset of being prepared um, for our family. Um, we're not 100% there, but we have it in our mind on some of the things that we need to, you know, get started or um, just have ready. Um, so one of the things uh, that you can do to get ready is meal prepping. And I have a lady friend of mine that wants me to do a video on meal prepping so you guys can um kind of tie that into your lifestyle and just having like a food storage just in case or just you know you can just store it and use it as you go too but uh some of the things is just you know a lot of people think at canning um is mainly like you know your tomatoes your tomato sauce your you know your beans and all your wet your wet canning and stuff like that so um, we do a lot of dry canning so our peas you know rice beans um, and then we did a lot of like dehydrating so you know your pineapples and apples and bananas and stuff like that so we ended up getting a machine that we use to um, use to prepare our food and prep it. So th that'll be in another video. But I just want to kind of go through some of the things that you can do to prep. And I know some people are just like, wow, that's a waste of time. I don't want to do that. But now in the situation that we're going in now, it's kind of like, okay, are we going to need to pull out that supply and use it so with us being a family of 10 you know it's not like you just make a couple meals or whatever we have how many meals in a day snacks and stuff like that so we just need to be more prepared on all the stuff that we need for our family okay so that's one is meal prepping um let's i'm gonna talk about Okay, so let's talk about the four things that we're going to talk about. Let's see. Yeah, four things that you can make. 
So one of the things is Clorox wipes you can make on your own. I'm gonna leave that in the description so you need paper towels. So if you can get paper towel or rags or washcloths or anything like that, old clothes that you're not using anymore, cut it up. Um, and then you're gonna have your mix of what you're gonna use. So a lot of it's gonna be bleach, your water, um, you know, your clean water. So, and alcohol, alcohol, alcohol on some of these is going to be your base just because of um, it being san for sanitizing reasons. So baby wipes, I don't put alcohol in, but I use coconut oil. I use tea tree because um, tea tree is good with uh, disinfecting lemon. Um, so if you want to use um, that for cleaning, you can do that too. You can use uh, doTERRA oils. Um, there's so many different types of oils. You just have to know your oils to know which one works and then um, what you're mixing it with to with your wipes. So if you want to do Clorox wipes, I have um, the recipe for that down below. And then if you want to make baby wipes, I have it on my website, 10 Kids in a Garage. And under the DIY uh, section, and that'll show you the baby wipes and how to get that started. Um, I do want to make a video on how I make my baby wipes. So I'll do baby wipes, I'll do Clorox wipes, I'll do stuff like that. Maybe hand sanitizer. So I'll kind of branch off and show you guys some of that stuff too. Um, another thing is hand sanitizer. So you're going to need your alcohol, you're going to need your tea tree, and... and um, aloe vera I think is the other thing you're gonna mix with everything um, but I will leave exactly like the type aloe vera you need what strength alcohol and stuff that you need I'll leave that down in the description because I know that our sanitizer places is like you know getting sold out so check that out and then um, hand soap you can make your own hand soap also so um, if you you would need um, just maybe like an empty hand soap bottle that you've had previous. So, so far there's stores that still have stuff that if you're able to get it, then that's fine. Can you? Okay. Okay. So, um, another thing that you can make, this and this wasn't added, but another thing that you can make is... Um, laundry soap so I know a lot of people are like well what do we do with laundry soap because if the time comes where people are washing their clothes and they you know we don't have access to buying laundry soap and everything is sold out there's ways to make it if you can get certain things so like if nobody's gonna get bar soap okay bring it here Okay, so some of, um, with bar soaps, there's certain kind of bar, oh, she can't be in here. There's certain kind of bar soaps that you can use to um, make your own laundry soap. So I will leave that down in this description also. If you know places around your area that sell like natural product or natural soap bars and stuff like that, you can start uh, grating the soap and um, mixing it with other things to make she just woke up from her nap make um, for your laundry soap so like I said I'll leave that all in the description I'll label it you know laundry soap whatever so that's another way of doing things um, and doing things for yourself we will re we, we rely so much on our stores and all the things that it's going to be there. It's going to be there. We don't have nothing to worry about. Well, it's not right now. So these are some of the things that I've done through the years that I've tried and I've used. And, you know, we use a lot of times as our baby wipes. I mean, that's one of our things that we use the most of. Um, okay, so that's that. And then another thing is like diapers. Um, you don't have to have special cloth diapers. We've never used cloth diapers. We just use disposals, but I've heard that some of them are even getting um, bought out. So if you could, you know, I don't know, be creative, I guess. There's other things, like depends. There's pull-ups. There's 
um, pa you know, pads, there's uh, pee pads even that you could become creative with to make some kind of diaper. There's, if you have clothes left over, blankets, um, you might have to sacrifice using things that you normally wouldn't use in these situations. But if it gets to a point where we can't get to what we need, you have to start using what you have. Um, and we've lived that way to where, I mean, we have everything that we need, but in a crisis, you kind of end up or like stuck and then you're not thinking straight and then you just don't know what to do. So maybe some of these things will help you think like, oh, okay, next time I go to a store, okay, these are the things that I want to keep on hand just in case there's an emergency or have, you know, Tupperware containers just full of stuff during an emergency. Like they say all the time, prepare during winter, have your car, um, stacked up with the things that you need in case of an emergency. This is the same kind of situation. So um, we've always lived pretty cheap with certain things. So we've always been in a way to like live off of what we kind of have and not always have buy more. Um, do we like stuff? Yeah, we still buy stuff. We still get things and we do things. But um, if we get to the point where we can't can't get anything, well then we need to use what we have. So another thing um, is gonna be, so I kinda talked about food prep already. So you're gonna start, you know, storing your food, um, dry canning and stuff. I'll maybe list some stuff from Amazon, things that you could use um, for prepping and until like I can do a video or whatever on that. Um, it's going to be like your canning jars, your, um, there's these little tab like oxygen things that you put inside to first to save um, with the food from going bad. And then um, like the machine and stuff that works to take out the extra air in there. So um, some of you guys already might have stuff like that where you could start putting stuff in bags and sealing it. So if you have that, start prepping and doing that. You know, maybe you won't need it this year, but, you know, in the next couple of years, what if there's something that goes on again and then you would be prepared. So it sounds overwhelming at first, but once you get started, it's not as hard as you think it is. And I don't know if you know, it depends on who you are, how you think, and what you believe in. And um, we've just took that step to, we have too many kids for us to not be prepared. So we have some stuff, you know, in case that that were to happen. So, um, if, okay, so another thing would be like flashlights, um, glow sticks, uh batteries, um, chargers. So everybody pretty much has a phone charger. So one that you just plug into the wall. Um, but if the, if you don't have, you know, electricity, I'm just saying like worst case scenario that that happens, you would want a backup battery pack. So it's just a portable battery pack. You would always have that charged. And then in emergency situations, you would just use that battery pack. Um, and it's not one that you plug into the wall after it's charged. So I'll list, list that down below too, some of the things that you can get um, in case that you need stuff like that. So them are just things that you can have on hand. Uh, walkie talkies, um, stuff like that, that maybe you need to, if we lose, you know, cell service or whatever, that you have other ways to prepare yourself. Um, Okay, so I said batteries, flashlights, glow sticks, um, medicine, Tylenol, first aid. Um, you, in these situations where people get panicked and get different and weird and overreact and go crazy and whatever, there could be situations where, okay, we don't have Tylenol to treat us anymore or medicines to treat us anymore. We can't go to the pharmacy if that's not going to be open. So get all the stuff that you need now and have it prepared and have it ready that in these situations that you have a backup to have another supply of your medication. 
Um, and then also, then you're not going to the pharmacy when there's a breakout. Because if you go to the pharmacy when there's a breakout and that's when you need your medication, well, you have chance of getting the virus. So try to prepare ahead of time and just have all um, on hand. So that's um, medicine and um, yeah. Yeah, she's here. Okay, so another thing that would be good to have is gas. So do you have gas? Do you have generators? Do you have, you know, because if our gas stations shut down, we don't have gas. So do you have gas prepared? You know, um, people that have transit or places or people that help you, stuff like that. But if you're worried about like, you know, that you have to be the one to go places or whatever make sure you have gas um are you saving water i know a lot of people we have a shortage of water we have a shortage of toilet paper we have a shortage of pretty much everything right now just because everybody's so scared and nervous um toilet paper is a big one right now that everybody is preparing for just in case you know things get bad um Another thing that nobody's really mentioned, only a couple people have said toothbrushes. So in case of a virus or something like this, what I like to do with my kids is always change their toothbrush when there is a virus. Um, and just because your toothbrush is being stored in the bathroom, you have more chances of your toothbrush being contaminated with germs and stuff like that. So make sure you have a good supply on toilet paper, mouthwash, stuff like that that you could be using in case you don't have alcohol if your mouthwash has some of that in there. Um, now I've never really looked into mouthwash and like disinfecting so maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Okay so that would be a thing. I said the charger back up. Okay washcloths, cloths, rags, clothes, things that you can cut up, things that you can reuse. With us having so many kids, we have so many clothes. I don't live this, um, what's it called? Um, wardrobe, small wardrobe, whatever. I don't even know what they call it. Um, we don't do that. So our kids have way too many clothes and is that, you know, we would, cut up stuff and start using that can you use for your diapers like I was saying before can you cut up clothing can you buy plastic liners again like you we did it back in the day you know you have to be creative in situations you can't have mass chaos and be unprepared we kind of always thought this way me and my husband kind of a little different him more than me but we've always thought you know, like, what if something were to happen? What if something were to happen? You know, what can we do? What can we do at home to prepare ourselves? So, you know, even if we had to start um, doing things like that, we have a couple kids. We have Evelyn that's still in diapers. Other people like pull-ups and stuff. But I'm not, like, over-concerned in that situation. There's, I mean, even if we go without diapers, whatever, we'll, we'll figure it that kind of stuff out I'm not I think because we already were prepared mentally for different things now my husband's more nervous than me because um he's more like the provider worried like if something were to go bad what is he gonna do so for me it's more like what can I do at home with the kids or be prepared at home to help that ease that part of it so some of the stuff is just like go without right now like we're not gonna you know go without your starbucks go without like yeah yeah go go without certain things that maybe right now we just don't need um so that saves on a lot of that too um so washcloths cloths rakes clothes and stuff so that would help i mean like i know somebody was joking about like um, socks that you know they have one pair that would be like toilet paper and I don't know there's a lot of jokes out there I've even added many many jokes on Facebook about this whole thing it's not overall a joke it really really isn't especially other people's health situations if this were to get to that point of other people getting it and you know it not being controlled but it's just everybody's so scared and nervous right now that we just kind of got to chill out a little bit I think Okay, so 
I'm trying to look over some of this stuff if I missed anything. I think the biggest thing right now is food preparation and making sure you have enough food. Big shelves aren't going to be restocked then. That could be a situation. Um, I don't think overall schools being shut down. I mean, that's going to be a hard on like parents that have to find a babysitter now. Um, I wouldn't worry so much of the educational part because in this situation, I don't find that very important. That's just my opinion. Um, and we're still going to homeschool. We have no reason why we shouldn't have to. Um, but we do teach our kids a lot of this life learning skills of what can you do in case of an emergency, like what's going to happen. Um, now I have two grown kids that are out of the house that are not in with us with a lot of this preparation. So um, they're kind of on their own with some of the stuff. I did talk to my daughter today, so I kind of sent her a list on like, okay, maybe you need to start sucking up on this, doing this, doing this. And just to get through maybe like the scared, scare of it all. Um, and maybe I'm not taking it serious enough either. Maybe I'm just too, I don't know. I guess I'm just not over concerned until it actually hits our home. Um, especially with us having little ones. So I'm going to be more concerned. Um, yeah. Oh, she hit you? No. No. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, gosh, I know. Oh, you love her. Okay. So. Okay, so I just wanted to come on because I wanted to share just um, our or my opinion on what's going on. I have no, like, health background when it comes to any of this either. Um,. You know, I am concerned in a way of, you know, just with us having so many kids in the house. I tell the kids, though, like, we have to start, you know, yeah. you know, I, I kind of joked with them. I'm like, okay, everybody needs to stay safe. Don't run around. Don't get hurt because the last places that we want to go is, like, the clinic or a hospital right now. We kind of really want to avoid them places. Things that you guys can do, I forgot to mention, is we um, got some elderberry... Um, gummies and that helps with like your immune system i do have some seeds that i got from um a friend of mine to make our own elderberry like um syrup that you can just kind of like take on a daily just to help with your immune system we do make our own kombucha which is a probiotic that will help with like gut health and stuff like that so we have that already um and um you know like apple cider vinegar you guys could look into that's another natural form of things that can help with um d other things i'll list all that stuff down below and all the benefits and stuff but these are just some things that you guys can kind of look at and be like if you need to um find something that you just can't find at the store. Not that I really want to come on and make a video like this I, because everybody is so serious about it and everybody is kind of scared and nervous. And um, my point of view on us having a large family and us, you know, what are we doing to take precautionaries to um, that we don't get sick or none of the kids get sick. So we probably won't be going to a lot of places. We probably won't... Um, so far, our church is not shut down as I know it as of right now, um, but we will be avoiding many places. So it's mainly going to be public places. So my husband's probably going to be the one that's going to do majority of the outing of going. We do have some things that the kids are still in. I don't know if that's going to be an option anymore or what's going to happen in the next like week or so. Um, but we'll just have to play it by ear for right now. I just wanted to come on and tell you guys some more like natural ways that you guys can maybe start using in your home if you can't find things at the store. So, um, 
I know this might take, like my daughter felt a little overwhelmed by all the changes that might have to happen or, you know, take you out of your comfort zone of how to live because I think we all get lazy and we get comfortable with how we live and don't get past that part of it. Um, I know some people are going to take it very lightly with what's going on. Some people are going to take it overboard. Um, I think right now we just need to think smart and think of how we can support our families and our neighbors and people that are close to us that maybe need our help right now. Like, can you babysit? Is there food that you can give that most, you know, some of these kids get food from schools. I saw a lot of people posting on Facebook that, you know, they would be willing to donate some of their food if their kids were going to go without a meal that day. Um, so we kind of got to think like that, like, is there ways that we can, um, benefit other people and not just ourselves? Um, even like with us, you know, I kind of think sometimes like, okay, you know, we only have so much food for our own family or do I really want to watch other people's kids and then the chance of having my kids, um, get sick. So it's more going to be like, what's your what's your opinion on what you want to do where is your safety guidelines with that um it's totally up to you as a person i don't think you should feel i don't think it makes you a bad person when you want to protect your family and your own environment um but when we start getting violent and cruel and unkind to people with our own views on it i think that's when everything gets like terrible so um right now it's just waiting and seeing i think that makes everybody so uncomfortable um that's just pretty much all i wanted to talk about today if you guys have other information that you guys know of or how's everything going in your area um has it hit you guys yet to where you guys are, you know, preparing for that? Um, do you guys already prep and prepare? Are you guys, um, you know, did you get ready ahead of time? Or what do you guys have going on when it comes to this kind of stuff? Did you guys... Um, do you guys have kids that are in school that it shut down? What are you guys doing with that? Um, I'm just trying to think. So... I guess um, just, you know, leave in the comments down below some of the things that you guys are going through or your area is going through. Um, other than that, guys, um, I didn't, I hope this wasn't like a total complete downer video, but it's just some of the things that you can think about when stuff like this happens or prepare for next time when something like this happens because right now we're pretty much almost in the middle of it and things are just getting crazy or might get crazier um so i just wanted to share with maybe some ideas that will help you guys with some of the stuff that you could do already in your home um so that's about it guys and hopefully this all gets um you know taken care of soon and everybody can start living normal soon and i don't know so right now it is march what day is it guys march what march 13. 14. Four, okay so it's march 14th right now and from what I understand, until April something, April 15th or 10th or something like that is when um, this is all going to be like a situation. So until then, hopefully we learn more on what's all going to happen. And if things start getting like bad or whatever, maybe I'll do another video. But if everything just kind of stays the same as what's going on, then I probably won't bother. But... Um, if you guys want me to actually show you how to do things, I will do that. And I do want to do that. It's just I have other videos that are coming out before a lot of like prepping stuff and preparing. Um, so right now it's just I wanted to come on right or come on quick just to talk about this for right now. Hopefully a lot of that makes sense and um, you guys are doing good and that you're not in that area yet of 
what got targeted. Um, I'm sure it's going to hit and we're all going to be affected. Um, it just, just depends on how bad everything is going to get. So other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.